today I'm going to do an unscripted video about how to repair the Virtual Boy. So here's the Wario game, and it looks good on the right side, but if I switch lenses to the other side, you'll notice there's no image at all. This is a common problem for the Virtual Boy system. As you can see, the right display is also glitching out. So basically, I gotta repair both sides. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that the power is unplugged. And I'm gonna do it by just unplugging this right here. And then I'm gonna remove the stand. I'll go ahead and remove the game as well. Now there's security bits, or security screws, inside this. And some of them are very deep. So it takes a special screwdriver. I just ordered one off eBay, and it looks like this. And I have no idea why there's so many uh, holes in this thing, but I just put that end in there. And you can see the uh, security bit edge uh, looks like a star, kind of. Okay, so it took forever for me to get the six screws out. It was mainly because I couldn't quite see if I was actually turning the screw or not. As you stick this down into the chamber, it's hard to get it exactly centered where you're actually turning the screw. So now it should come apart. And I'm going to do this very carefully. I'm going to try to anyway. Okay, so that came up. And that's what the inside of the Virtual Boy looks like. While I'm in here, I'm going to blow away some of the dust. Okay, so the thing that will most likely need repaired is this part right here. This ribbon and the component it attaches to at the bottom. And here's a closer look at what I'm talking about. There's a couple of screws here that I need to take out and I need to slide this ribbon out from that white part or out from the this little connector here. There's some glue right here in this part that needs to be melted and reapplied basically because this circuit board down here and this ribbon uh, are connected by that glue and over time it comes loose. So first I'm going to gently slide this ribbon out. And now I'm going to take a Phillips screwdriver, a very small one, and screw these screws down here. If I can just center it in that screw. There we go. Oh, that slid. Wasn't expecting that. I believe that sliding is an adjustment you can make with one of the levers on the uh, Virtual Boy. It's so going to take that tiny little screw out. This other screw, it's kind of hard to get at. you got to turn your screwdriver at an angle because there's a piece of plastic right here. I don't want to take this thing apart any more than I have to. I imagine I can take this, uh, this plastic part off, but I don't want to do that. There's a lot of complicated things in here. Once again, it's kind of hard to tell if you're actually turning the screw or not until you actually see it coming out because things are so tiny in here. Uh, but I just got it loose. With this loose, I can pick it up and there's what it looks like. But once again, what I'm doing is repairing this glued on section right here. I'm gonna take a heat gun at 250 degrees and just blow on this part right here. Okay, so I got the, uh, the piece suspended in the air there a little bit. And here's the heat gun. I'm gonna turn it on. I said I'm gonna turn it on. There we go. And I'm gonna lower the temperature to the lowest setting possible, which is 250. Okay, with that warm, 
I'm now going to take a screwdriver edge and just mash that down a little bit. So hopefully I got a better connection to the uh, circuit board, but I might have to go through this process several times. Alright, so I'm going to put this one back in. And I'm going to put the ribbon back in carefully. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we'll take out the other one. I'm going to give you a different viewing angle here. Okay, so I'm going to take this tiny little screw out right here. I'm going to hold on to the back here so it doesn't push back. And you got to be careful not to drop this little screw into the unit. So when you feel it about to um, fall out, do the rest with your finger. This screw is attached to a wire. I guess it's the grounding wire here. And I'm just going to leave it attached to that grounding wire. There we go. And now I can remove this part. It's kind of stuck for some reason. It feels like it's stuck because uh, this little this little piece right here uh, hooks into the chamber there. So if you pull it out at an angle, it feels like it's getting stuck. Here's another view of it. Now for some reason, I see some kind of residue uh, right here on this ribbon that wasn't on the other. But hopefully that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so I put the cover back on, but I only put a few screws into it because I want to test it. So I'm going to plug the power supply back in. And then I'm going to put the game back in. I want to make sure I got it the right way here. There we go. It should be like that. And I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to look through the eyepieces and see what happens. So far I'm not seeing much glitchiness on the right side. I did see some when I first turned it on though. But on the left side I'm still getting no image. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep repeating this process until I get it to function correctly again. Okay, so I've tried the heat gun technique several times and it's repaired the left side. The left side is functioning normally, but the right side uh, has gotten actually a little bit worse through it all. I ended up doing that process about four different times to get it just right for the left side. Uh, this time around, I'm going to try the traditional method of just putting it in the oven. Okay, so I have my toaster oven set at 250 degrees. And I have the chip ready. I'm just going to pop it in. It's kind of dirty in there. And I'm just going to wait a few minutes and I'm going to take it right back out. Okay, so... I'm removing it. It's very hot. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to smooth out the connections. Let me find a tool here. Actually, I'm using a fork. The end of a fork. It's almost too hot to, uh, to touch it, but it's cooling down now. So I'm going to pop this thing back in and see if it worked. Okay, I've tested it, and guess what? It functions 100% normally now. Let's take a look. There's the right side. The scan lines are gone. The glitches are gone. Left side functions as well. No glitches. 
I'm going to continue to test. I'm going to start playing this system more often. I know what to do in the future now if I get that problem again. If you have the same issue, I suggest you go straight to the oven technique and not use the heat gun. I believe the oven sp spreads the heat a lot more evenly. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.